there was stuff with like Miz. Actually, there wasn't on the show. The Miz thing at the end, everyone thought was so great. Listen, everybody. Why? Your standards have fallen. Miz did an average Miz promo. He just happened to follow John Cena doing a horrendous promo. John Cena's promo was horrendous. Miz came out, laid him out with a belt. Okay, here's what I remember. He's cutting this promo. He hit one belt shot, okay? John Cena is laying on the on his back, spread eagled, arms and legs, you know, spread out in all four directions. Miz is cutting this promo over his unconscious body. John Cena may as well have had X's drawn over his eyes and birds flying around his head. It was completely cartoony. And then Miz cut a acceptable promo, threatened the rock, stole his catchphrase, did a people's elbow, whoopty shit. I don't know what people saw in this promo. I mean, yes, it, it was, was better, better than, than John Cena's. Cena's. That's saying nothing. Yes. How good would this promo have been if it would have followed The Rock last week? Poor. How would it, how good would it have been if it followed The Rock on the first week? Poor. How good it would have been if it followed Cena that first week? Not quite as poor, but poor. It would have been fine. It would have been acceptable. Listen, everybody. I realize it's 2011, and the art of wrestling has been lost on many of you. But a promo is about making you want to see dudes fight. A promo is not about somebody having good delivery or having passion. It's not about that at all. The Rock's promo last week was awesome because Rock felt passionately about the temerity of John Cena talking about how he did not love wrestling. When The Rock is done with his promos, I am begging for Rock to kick the ass of John Cena. Cole, even Cole... When Cole's done with some of his promos or when Lawler's done doing his promos, I really want to see Lawler punch Michael Cole right in the face. Okay? When Miz was done with his promo, it was like he delivered that well. Do I really care at all about Miz versus John Cena? No. Do I really think that there's any possibility in the world that the Miz is going to beat up The Rock the next time they see each other? Not a chance in hell. Hell. So, to me, it really wasn't that great a promo. He delivered it well. He delivered his lines well. But was it a promo that added a single buy to WrestleMania? Of course not. You know, Rock's promos have been adding buys to WrestleMania. You look at look at like the the ratings for the show since Rock came back. You know, Rock talks, people tune in. Miz talks, Miz wrestles, people tune out. You can go look at the ratings. Miz's segments on Raw have done horrible in the ratings. So, I've said this a million times. And people keep asking. You know, someone sent me an email today. You keep saying that Miz is a geek. You know, what what can they do? Why is Miz a geek? Why do you keep saying this? He's gotten a couple of wins of late. That's great. Yes. Again, this is just like the Miz's promo. Miz getting a couple of wins of late is better than Miz having to get help to beat everybody for months and months and never getting a clean win, okay? He, we've gone from a 0 to a 1. We're nowhere near a 10. You want to know how to make Miz a champion? You have to book him like you book John Cena or how you book Randy Orton. That's what you got to do. And don't even tell me that he's a, he's a heel and so that he's not allowed to win or beat anybody. Why don't you go look at Alberto Del Rio on Raw and then look at The Miz, There's a gigantic difference between the two. In fact, I wrote about this when I wrote about SmackDown this week. Why do I go nuts when Alex Riley runs in during Miz matches, but I don't say anything when when Ricardo Rodriguez runs in on Alberto Del Rio matches? You want to know why? Because they're two completely different things. Because Alberto Del Rio has been beating everybody. He beats everybody. He beats them clean. And he beats them clean via submission with his armbar. Let's go back and look at how many people Alberto has beaten clean with his finisher in the last several months. Now, let's look at how many people that The Miz has beaten clean with his finisher in the last couple of months. It is a dramatic, drastic difference. So, when you've got a heel that actually does beat people with his finish, then every now and then, when he's going up against a top guy and he finds himself in trouble, it's okay for the manager to come in and help him out of a jam. But when you never fucking beat anybody, and every time you win, it's because you have a manager helping you, 
You can't just suddenly give a guy a couple of wins and expect him to be taken seriously. They're going to need to give Miz wins over top guys for like a year before he's going to be taken seriously because they've done so much damage to him. He's a geek. I couldn't even believe the guy that was trying to compare Miz to Ric Flair. He's like, Ric Flair always had the horsemen run in in the 80s. You're comparing The Miz to Ric Flair. Listen, if you're already over, if you're already a megastar, then yeah, it's okay to win by the skin of your teeth here and there. But when your career has been, you were a reality star, then you were on Tough Enough, and you got humiliated by Daniel Pewter in a fake boxing match, which was actually a real boxing match, but there were these giant oversized gloves, and you just got completely humiliated. Then you were uh, widely considered the weak link in the team with John Morrison. Then you got a singles push, and you had a feud with John Cena where you were just made a complete fool of, and you were just beaten like a drum every single week. Then you backdoor your way into the title, winning Money in the Bank, uh, winning the title over over a uh, a guy that had just had a match. And then every match you win after that is because somebody ran in. You're trying to tell me that this guy is, is Ric Flair in the 80s? Get a life. It's completely different. I don't even know how people can't even see this. Nobody takes Miz seriously. And it's going to take more than a month of beating a couple of guys for people to take him seriously. His promos, you know, he's as a worker, he's fine. His promos are pretty good. He's got a lot of passion. But he's not The Rock. He's not booked like John Cena or Randy Orton or any of these other guys. So don't try and make comparisons to these things. They're all completely different. Alberto Del Rio has been booked so much better than Miz, it's not even funny. It's... I'm done. <laughs> Anything to add to this? I'm just, uh, I just ranted myself dry. I'm just looking over Alberto's uh, match record here. You know the last time Alberto lost a singles match? Hmm. November. Really? How about that? November 29th to John Morrison. Wow. And if you look back in the month leading up to that, he has a few losses, but he also has wins over Big Show, wins over Kofi, a draw with Edge, a win over John Morrison. So yes, he wins all the time. I've been wrong before, everybody, but mark my words on this. Once WrestleMania is over, Miz is going to be a high mid-carder. Miz is going to be about where CM Punk is right now. Maybe even a little bit lower. Why do I know this? Because I can see the guys that Vince is behind and sees as long-term prospects. They're guys like Alberto Del Rio. They don't lose. They don't need help to win. Yes, maybe one of these days, a couple of years down the road, Miz will have been around long enough and, and he'll be healthy enough that maybe he'll get a career like Chris Jericho, where it took Chris Jericho like... You know, he had to be in WWE for like six years and then leave and then come back two years later when when a bunch of other big stars had left. And and then they finally trusted him enough to give him a big push. And he ended up getting wrestler of the year. But you're looking at another you're looking at a six year journey, at least for Miz, because to try to compare Miz now to Chris Jericho when he started. I don't know about that one. But uh, it's going to be a long ass road. But Alberto Del Rio, a year from now, huge star still. I can just, I can see this, and and you can all look back, and you can call me stupid now, and you can tell me I don't know what I'm talking about, but just get back to me in six months, and then we'll talk.